Hi, it's Damien Carney here, and welcome back to the Drag Fab series. I'm so excited because we've got two incredible, beautiful girls, but the first one is somebody you'll know. It's the wonderful <laughs> Jerry Hirsch, fashion blogger, waves her wand, and everybody looks stunning and beautiful. For the first look, we're keeping it plain and simple. This was a splurge item, it's something you could wear all the time for night. But how do you take this splurge item and go further than that? How do you get the bang for your buck out of this fantastic dress? I'm going to take her over to my station. I'm going to dress the hair out, give you lots of great tips for creating ultra modern, sexy, loose texture. I'm going to share with you how to get beautiful, curvaceous, sexy hair without it being overly curly, but there's a softness to it that looks incredibly modern. Preparation, as you know, is the foundation to any great hairstyle. So what I did is to shampoo and condition with our K-Pak Reconstructor. I know the hair's really healthy. So the foundation is the most important thing, regardless of your look or your technique or your style. Here I use our Joy Gel Firm. It is a gel, but it's incredibly flexible because not only can you blow dry, you can get volume and softness that you didn't have with a typical gel before. Here's my tip. Take probably about just larger than a pea size double it emulsify it into the hands and then apply to the longer lengths when the hair is very wet. Comb through and then blow dry with a large round brush to get lots of body and volume which is basically giving an excellent prep for when I use my hot tool which is a curling iron. I've taken a horizontal section, the hair has had our joy gel um, worked into the hair, wrap it around the iron and feed it through. What I mean by that is you're opening the actual iron and letting it all slip all the way through right to the ends. Don't worry if you don't get all the ends in, sometimes that can break the texture up a little bit. And then simply open the iron. So I've taken out the sections, you can see there's very subtle movement, but trust me, it'll come alive once I use some of our Joy Mist Firm. Use this product as a styling tool. Don't be wary, it looks like there's a lot on my hands, but before the product dries, you can work it into your scalp, so it gives it volume. You can work it into the ends, so it gives it separation. So there you go, really use your foundation, use your gel, use your hairspray, prepare the hair, add a little bit of movement. Too much tends to look a little bit too retro, and the key thing is always making it look modern. Well, there you go, Jerry. I mean, if you've done our preparation, here's the hair, it's got a little bit of texture. Did you like it? I love it, I love the volume. So glam. Well, she's got incredible hair, but to me, it's all about total look. I love your dress. Thank you. You know, when I wear a fierce dress that's all leather, I like to keep it kind of the way you did, making the hair the focus, and then we kept a nude lip and a nude shoe, and it's all about just how beautiful she is. It's so easy to overdo it. So there you go, that's our first look. For look two, I added this printed button up that we buttoned up all the way to the top because I wanted her to have like a more professional vibe, but I still wanted her to feel fun because she is fun. And we added a classic black pump to accentuate her fantastic hair. Oh my God, it looks incredible. You made something so simple look absolutely elegant and stunning. But the reality is when you're wearing a high collar like this, I think it's really nice when the hair can be taken away. Yeah, it extends the neck, makes the jawline uh, profile forward and really kind of elongates the shape. In fact, I'm so thrilled and excited about this. I'm going to do it here right now. Can't wait. So I'm going to turn our beautiful model. What I'm going to do is do something that's really, really easy and simple. Use what you have and turn it into a positive sense of style. I'm going to use my hands and then what I'm going to do is quite simply take the hair, twist the hair around and around. It's going to turn you back a little bit more. Twister was very hot on the runway for 2014. And then what I can do, look, is simply take that and then make it a little tighter so it's a, a little bit of above a color. Look, if I push that up, can you see you've got a little bit of volume there? So it's not uber tight. Love my long bobby pins. These are excellent for very, very thick hair. And what I'm going to do is simply go in and then put your bobby pin in and then cross it over. Secure the little areas through there. I like that a little bit. I like when you use your fingers and just kind of loosen it up. I like this just random kind of placement that you can kind of uh, work with. I think she might get a promotion today. <laughs> Head into the boardroom. So there you go. That's conversion number two. We used what we had. You extended with this incredible wardrobe and it was brilliant. It's so easy to do that. Okay, so stay tuned. There's more Draft Fab series with me and uh, lots of other people. So stay tuned for expert advice to turn you into something stylish and beautiful.